Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will make the difference between BitTorrent and IPFS clear for you. IPFS and BitTorrent are both technologies that let users around the world to share their files and data in a P2P, peer-to-peer, -peer fashion. Let us start with an introduction to the P2P file sharing. Usually, there exists a single server for certain files on a network, and other people who want to have access to that file will have to make requests to that single server to receive that file, and the server will then decide whether to share the file with the client or not. This causes several problems. For example, popular files will be requested from a single server by thousands of users at the same time, which will put the server under heavy strain. And secondly, the server can turn down the requests of some clients for different reasons, such as the geographical location of the user. Finally, if the server goes down for whatever reason, access to those files will be lost with it. In P2P file sharing in contrast, every participant is both a client and a server. Let's say that a video is uploaded to the P2P file sharing network by user A. User A will then continue to share that file so that other users can download the file. When the video file is downloaded by user B and user C, those same users will then start to contribute in sharing the file to other users, just like what user A was doing before them, and help new users in downloading that same file by uploading different parts of the file that they have already downloaded for themselves. In this way, because there isn't a single server that every client who wants to receive the file has to go through, users have easier access to their desired files, because even if a single node that is serving the files goes offline, other nodes can do the work instead, and access to those files is therefore saved. Now let's get back to BitTorrent and IPFS. The BitTorrent technology that made use of this manner of file sharing was introduced in July 2001 by programmer Bram Cohen, whereas IPFS, Interplanetary File System, was introduced in February 2015 by its original author, Juan Benet. Traditionally, a file or files are uploaded by a user into the BitTorrent network, that user will then become the seeder of the file, which means that they start uploading and distributing bits and parts of those files to the users who want to download those same files. The users who want to download those files will have to input a torrent descriptor file into their BitTorrent client program. This file has information about the tracker, which gives information about the IP of the users who are seeding, uploading and distributing those same files. The user then starts to download the files in small pieces as a peer that is downloading those files, and at the same time, start uploading the pieces that they have successfully downloaded to other users who are also trying to receive the file at the same time. As discussed, IPFS came some years after BitTorrent, so while it takes inspirations from the way BitTorrent works, it also makes some improvements to add some newer features to the usual P2P file sharing system. For example, the IPFS network uses content addressing by using the hashes of the files that were shared, and it takes advantage of this feature to deduplicate the files on the network and help the users who are trying to download that file to distribute parts of that file with each other. To make this clear, Let's say that episodes 1, 2, and 3 of a 4-episode movie series were shared by user A on the torrent network, and user B shared episodes 2, 3, and 4. Even though episodes 2 and 3 are shared in these two torrents, the users who are downloading these two same episodes from user A's torrent can't and won't contribute to the users who are trying to download the same episodes from user B's torrent which would mean that these users will both lose the opportunity of having higher download speeds and performance. On the IPFS network, in this same scenario, since the users are trying to download the same file, the IPFS network will help them in discovering the users who are currently uploading, or seeding, that same file, and so, their downloading performance will improve. The IPFS network is also trying to be a replacement for the current way of accessing data from the web which is known as location addressing. BitTorrent doesn't try to do such a thing, and its goal ends at creating a new way for its users to share files with each other in a P2P way. IPFS however has broader goals that it's trying to achieve as we will explain. Currently, the average web user will make HTTP or HTTPS requests where they will ask for a data located at a certain location in the server. 
For example, let's say a file named report is located in a folder named homeworks. This file might be accessed by a link such as http forward slash forward slash server dot com slash homeworks slash report. This way of addressing the wanted data and files has its own issues. For example, if the file is moved to another location on the server, such as finished homeworks, the old link would then stop working, even if the file hasn't been changed in any way. In contrast, by addressing files by their content instead of their location, you can use a single link that points to that same file, no matter where it might happen to be on the network, which solves the aforementioned issue. IPFS uses this way of addressing its files on the network, which is aptly named content addressing. On another note, whole websites might be hosted on the IPFS network, whereas BitTorrent isn't made for such use cases. For example, in 2017, the Turkey Wikipedia website was banned by the country. In response, that version of Wikipedia was fully uploaded to the IPFS network, where users were then able to easily access the website. Other versions of the website, such as the English, Arabic, and even the Persian version were then later uploaded to the network, to be accessible to anyone and everyone who wants to freely use the website. In a nutshell, IPFS tries to be a replacement for our current way of using the World Wide Web. Because of this, in comparison to BitTorrent it has a few additional features to accomplish this task, such as file deduplication, and addressing files by their content instead of their location. Both of these technologies have their own dedicated user base, and are growing daily to improve their functionalities and uses for their end users. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know what you think down below in the comments.